Good afternoon, everyone. Thank Governor John Carney delivering lots of good news about the state of the virus in Delaware. The numbers are getting closer to where we need them, but we are not quite there yet. We flattened out across the state, but just at a level a little bit higher than where we need to be. Certainly where we need to be to get more children back in classrooms. In Philly, the Philly Burbs, and in many Delaware districts, school will start out virtual. Yeah, we're very blessed. But in the Catholic Diocese of Wilmington schools, I'm excited to be back. Teachers at schools like St. Anthony's of Padua are now getting their rooms ready. With the summer to prepare, we're really ready to go. Principal Judy White says the vast majority of her school students will soon come back to the building. A few will watch live streams from home. For some parents, getting the kids back to school is their only choice. They're back to work and they need their children to be learning during the day. St. Anthony's is also happy to welcome a number of kids from public schools whose parents wanted them back in an actual classroom. But St. Anthony's isn't taking anything lightly. They're going beyond the safety recommendations. Hand sanitizer is absolutely everywhere. Plexiglass, too. Desks are spaced far apart. Kids can only take their masks off once inside the classroom, where they'll be with the same kids all day long, every day of the week. Instead of the students moving around, we move around, the teachers move around. So even though it's one kid to one desk and everybody's in the same room for the most part each day, whenever the kids do leave to say go out for recess, somebody's going to come in right behind them and clean up. Catholic schools like this one know they need to get it right the first time in terms of safety. The principal here says she believes they are ready to safely reopen and stay open. I don't want anyone coming back to school feeling anxious and nervous. I want them to come back knowing that we're doing everything and we're doing it right. In Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.